Hi guys and welcome. If you want to build your own landing page or website, it's definitely better to use the platforms that allows you to make that happen because it's really faster and easier and without an extra effort. Today in this video, I want to show you the platform that allows you to make that happen for 100% and really, really fast because everything is pretty, pretty ready to go and you just need to customize uh, the ready template and everything is drag and drop. So before I've started to show you all the things um, how, or how, how to build your own landing page, I want to say that our team left the link in the description panel of this video and you can jump straight to platform from this video. You can easily find the link in the description panel. So be our guest, use that link. Uh, and one more thing, I don't want to make this video like one hour long because uh, your time is most precious thing that you have uh, so i don't want to waste your time i want um i want to make this video as short as possible so in this video you're going to find out the main things and main editing features of this platform so let's jump straight to work that how the platform looks from inside and if you need the landing page you need to create new landing page if you need the site site accordingly so we will create a new landing page just pressing that button and you see that there are tons of pretty well done templates that allows you to make your site really and really fast uh, and that's what i want to show you let's start building this one but before i want to say that you uh, can sort it by the page type by the industry by the style and here in this spot you need to be as specific as possible to find the correct template that will save you time of editing uh, and efforts of editing but it's pretty effortless uh, i want to say because uh, it's really drag and drop it's really really easy and and fast and that's what i want to show you um let's choose anyone uh, coming soon this one just to show you the editing features first you need to give your page a name and we jump into the editor and what's happening uh, in the editor you see the lead matter this is fantastic tool that shows how your um, web page will convert your visitors to customers and you need to take care about that uh, that widget because it shows uh, like a lot of interesting things based on the experience of this platform uh, redo undo uh, preview and publish this is the button uh, what you're gonna press when you're gonna be ready so layout let's go to layout in this uh, in, in this button you can see actually what sections are in your uh, in your web page and you can add a section from here hero section and footer section yeah we need to add some section maybe uh, and there are pretty pretty well done templates of sections like call to action and you can just drag and drop it to the spot where you see the drop here things yeah cool call to action uh, testimonials for example i like this one drop here and that's pretty it you see it's all all here is drag and drop if you didn't found the knee the template of the section that you need you can use the blank one this one for example okay let's go back to layout and you see the hero footer blank about testimonials and call to action i want this uh blank section to be a little bit higher here so i'm just dragging it with this six dot button and moving it to the spot where i need it to to place all of those i don't need actually like let's delete all those just showed you how's how that is easy all right so in this example i will show you all that you need to know of how to build it so widgets there are a lot of them but if you press show less you see that those eight is actually all you need text image and text image video button form line and space um, any landing page contains pictures text 
and interact maybe video and interactive elements like buttons and forms uh, and this is very important because um, buttons and forms this is actually the way how you interact with your customers uh, so you need to um, you need to type the catchy tags you need to type the useful tags but I will not show you how to how to manage the tags it's not about that this video is not about that this video is about the editing features of this platform is really really easy so all the editing features happening with this pencil button as you can see uh, you can find this button on each of elements that uh, in your layout how to uh, add some widgets is just drag and drop maybe you want a video here maybe you want a button here yeah that's pretty cool uh, we can see that the button is not on the spot i want it to be in the center for example and the video is too small i'm just grabbing this divider you see this vertical line i'm just grabbing it and moving it until the uh the elements are reshaped itself uh so how to make this button be in the center which is grabbing a spacer and you see you can drop spacer to any spot that you want where you can see drop here drop here and we're moving it like that it's pretty simple isn't it okay i showed you all those i want to show you styles because uh, as you can see here um, we have a background but this is not a background of uh, this section and this is probably yeah this is a page background you see there's a color and if we're gonna remove it you see this uh white thing is here we can undo really fast and it's gonna be like that you can change font styles straight from here uh, all the headline fonts and text fonts if you have a countdown we didn't have it here uh, you can also change all the things uh, for example you have a big a big layout long layout um, a big landing page and you have a lot of text and a lot of uh, headlines and you need to um, you need to change the fonts it's really really convenient to uh, make that happen from this spot for entire page and not to change the fonts for each uh, for each element in your page so uh, we go in to edit the section itself when you're gonna press the three dots button you can add a section settings add section above or below is the same with this button duplicate copy or delete so let's go to edit section settings you see that there's image here and we have an image color overlay and I will show it to you we're gonna change an image you can use the images that you already uploaded you can use the premium images you can buy uh you can buy it you can make a purchase straight from the platform and one picture is about eight dollars you can search by the keywords and you can upload it from computer and that's what i'm gonna do okay the picture is here uh, and you see that the picture is pretty dark and it's not bad actually but it's still uh it's not a great quality picture but never mind of course you need to use the high quality pictures and high quality images uh, in your landing page if you're gonna go live with that definitely need to be the great quality and I'm just showing you the case and I want to show you how to manage things here so you need to um, you see this text is pretty unreadable you can change the color of this text but you can use the image color overlay and you can add a new color uh, let it be the dark gray you see and you change in the opacity and here you go the picture is still there uh, you can see the picture and the text is pretty readable right now and everything is absolutely great this is very interesting very useful feature and you can use it to any type of landing pages definitely uh, also you see the full automatically you can reshape the size of the block with this uh with this button or you can make it manually bigger or smaller or full for example yeah a lot of uh actually a lot of things to play with 
No, but it's really and really easy and fast to make everything happen. Uh, you can edit everything with this button just to show you how to manage the text. All the things that you need, you can change here. There's Humbo, Jumbo, Deadline, uh, Headline 1, Headline 2. This is all um, very important actually because search engine machines understand this is a headline, this is not a normal text. Uh, and if you have a lot of content, you need to take care about that also. So guys, what's important? All of those widgets that I showed you, button and form, as I told you, this is uh, the way how you interact with your visitors and you need to, the, the main issue, the main purpose of any landing page is to get the contact information from your visitor. Yeah, and that information drops to some uh, some spot or it's gonna be your own email. I'm gonna show it to you So what's happening with all the styles happening with this um, pencil button What's gonna happen when somebody will press the button? So you need to check the click event What's gonna happen? It's gonna be a pop-up Calendly pop-up jump to a page section like read more for example and you have such section now, link to landing page link to an external URL uh, in most cases, is um, it, the pop-up is used, and you have the pop-up. All the things you can make here with the section settings, like change the color and so on, change the text. Just double-click on it, and everything is happening. But the most important part is integration. So you need to edit integrations, and you jump into this left-hand field, uh, integrations, fields, and actions. How are you gonna get information? As I told you, you can get uh, new leads to your inbox trade, or you can add an integration with external service. One of those from the list are pretty, pretty amazing list. Convocate, constant contact, get response, MailChimp, active campaign. All of those are pretty powerful tools of email marketing, and you can use them to actually work with uh, your email list and to grow your email list. And as it says, the money is on the list. So the bigger your list, the bigger you warming up your audience, uh, the bigger money you make on your business. Or you can integrate if you don't have um, accounts for one of those. Uh, you can integrate everything with a Zapier and for example, Google Sheets, you can create new Google Sheet and um, you will get information straight there or for example zoom yeah and so on a lot of tools to to play with but if you're just starting and you have no much uh, quantity of leads it's pretty enough to get information to your inbox uh, straight but in most cases you need to take care about that and you need to work with that audience you need uh, some kind of CRM and and so on so make sure that uh, you have enough time to handle to manage your new leads uh, Here you see that only email is provided But I want to add the first name because the first name and email is pretty uh, It's pretty enough do not add more fields than two so choose one of them or phone number or uh, or less name, but I suggest you not to use a lot of fields because uh, people are lazy and they don't want to fulfill like 10 fields, like address, email and so on. Just simple layout, first name and email with this small arrow so you can change the order and that's cool. Actions, what's gonna happen when somebody will give you actually information about that? You can add a lead magnet here if you promise to send some useful um, and valuable information like a PDF or checklist or some, some else value. Um, you can add a lead magnet here or you can use default lead pages. Thank you page, landing page external. You can build a similar page only with thank you. Yeah, external URL or remain on page. It's up to you actually what you're going to do with that. But this is very important and you need to make sure you, you see an active button. You need to make sure that all the click events are done. All things works properly and so on. I showed you the styles 
and I want to show you the settings what's happening here. SEO, social analytics, and language. Language is pretty clear. SEO, definitely you need your website to be visible to search engine machines. In other case, you can switch on uh, the flag here. I don't want search engines to index this page. So page title, page description, and page keywords. Uh, very and very important social if you want to share link to your uh, landing page in some social media like Facebook or, or some else place that how it's gonna look like and uh, you need to take care about all those pictures here analytics if you need the analytics you can uh, switch it on here uh, and language I showed you also already that's pretty it the preview button uh, shows you how your web page will be displayed in different types of devices because this is very important a lot of a uh, lot of uh, traffic right now flows from the mobile devices and and so on so you need to take care that everything as uh, works properly and everything looks great uh, and everything is visible and everything is worked properly that's pretty it guys that's how it's simple and easy to build your own landing page of course it is simple layout it's just one page and a, uh, and a footer we can delete all those that we don't need and that's pretty it so you need to find the correct template on this platform you need to edit this template to your like logo to your text uh, to your um, offer and that's pretty it and you can uh, you can start with that and you can build your own landing page in case if you have a content uh, for that you can build it like under one hour definitely that's why I want to share with you the link to this fantastic and very powerful platform uh, you can find this link in the description section of this video down below so use that link jump to that fantastic lead pages platform and build your own landing page right now Thanks for watching this video till the end. Hope you enjoyed and hope this was useful. Mm, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.